all the years you were doing it, were there certain guests, like who are the guys now that you, you know, you work your memory bank, like yep. who would come on and kill it and you go, fuck, this is a great show. Whether I get ratings or not, Oh yeah, this guest knows how to be a good talk show guest. There's so many times in my life, and you've seen this, where you understand it's not an accident. The time, and Bruce Springsteen, we were fortunate enough to have on our show a couple of times, and he would show up early he would rehearse he learned he knew all the cameramen's names he learned their names he was a gentleman he he crafted it he figured it out uh and you think oh this is he doesn't need to prove anything on late night with conan o'brien he's got nothing to prove he's got nothing to prove to anybody he's doing and then he's hanging out afterwards and thanking people you think there's this is not an accident there's a reason he's bruce springsteen and I feel that way yes. about Tom Hanks. I feel that way about because that is a guy who, when I was at Saturday Night Live, and then again when I did my all my late night shows over the years, he would show up early. He would have ideas. He brought stuff to the table. When I was at SNL, he would stay up all night. Not the whole night, but he would stay up till like four in the morning. And I remember walking through the writer's room, conference room once, and he was lying on the conference table at like four in the morning. And he was like, Conan, what do we got? What are you, what are you boys cooking up? Like, I got an idea. And, 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 you know, he's a huge, biggest movie star in the world. Right. You could see that this is why he's Tom Hanks. It's not that he's Tom Hanks or they're Bruce Springsteen and then they're trying to be a good guy. No, they, this work ethic, this, it has to be good. And I need to show people my appreciation because that's, it's emotional intelligence. 